I saw a bunch of fish busting out here. I thought it was a shark because I just saw one, but then I saw a bunch busting. So I'm pretty sure it's a school of tarpon out here. And jet skis. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. A little bit late run today. Uh, original plan was to uh, head out early and get out to Big Pine, spend some quality time over there since I've been there in a long time. But uh, they moved up my FedEx deliveries by a day, so I had to wait for him. Usually I get him about 10 o'clock, but today he didn't show up until 3.05. Ugh, 3 o'clock was my cutoff where I was like, screw it, I'm not going fishing. But since it was so close, I just threw my stuff together. And unfortunately, now that I have this new marathon launch spot, uh, I'm on the water in like 10 minutes, so it's not too bad. Uh, the only issue is I'm on the reverse tide cycle of when I caught those bone fishing permit. So uh, I was finding those fish about between four and six o'clock in the evening time at lowish tide. Um, now it's about the same time that four or five o'clock and then it's reversed. So now it's coming on high tide. So you basically have eight to 10 days uh, to get to the same cycle on the second wave of the day in the 24 hour period. So uh, I'm exactly reverse. So we're gonna have to kind of switch paths. Um, I took a look over there on the flat. Uh, the water is dropping really quickly, so it's gonna be too shallow here real quick. So I figured I'd take a look for tarpon. Uh, I saw a bunch of splashes bombing out here, so I figured that was tarpon. So I made the run out here and just anchored up and just kind of taking a look for them. Otherwise, I might run out to that little sister key where I saw that really beautiful rock bottom. I hit that at low tide and see what's there in the evening time. I was actually just sitting here looking down and it's about uh, six foot of water and I saw a permit scamper by here. So a lot of fish around, but I want to keep an eye out for uh, rolling tarpon. Uh, you can see their flash on their backs when it hits the sun. It's pretty calm out here um, and then look for flats fish in some of these spots but uh otherwise that's our plan see what we can come up with i saw this dark cloud and it looks like it's a big old massive school of pilchards yeah that's what it is i just saw this pretty sure those are just big old pilchards yeah it's got to be look at all of them holy crappers I saw a dark spot in the water way out and I thought it was maybe a school of uh, tarpon all packed together, but. It's all these pilchards, man. Somebody would pay a big penny for uh, one cast out of these big old dudes. These are the big sandy key ones. This might have been what those uh, tarpon or something was busting on. Well, I found my crab. It's a nice tarpon size one there. Man, I'm bait all over the place. <laughs> all right, that'll work. Put this guy down in the hold. Yeah, I found him again. There must be a massive schools in here. I can see them dimpling way far away because the uh, sunlight hits them. Because they're flicking out of the water, but... And I would have figured that these things would be getting slammed right now by at least jacks. See all of them here. Man, that whole bottom is just solid yeah look at all of them it's amazing they're not getting smashed whoa those are smaller ones so those might be uh razor bellies which are even better Well, I'm just hanging around with the pilchards here. They haven't left, they're not spooked. Just waiting to see if anything will come and start smashing on them. 
this is what I saw earlier some stuff and I'm pretty sure it's probably either jacks or a school of tarpon came through and just were busting on them because I saw a row of just splash 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 but by the time I made it out here it was dead but these guys are all here so that's got to be the reason why I'm still debating on whether to uh, pull out all my gear get my cast net I'd have to make the run out to the open water to use them, but don't know what to do. Feeling kind of lazy. See them all flashing this whole thing all the way around. All right, I've decided to go ahead and get a bucket of pilchards, run out there to the corner. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, it's just too deep. Oh. I got more on that time. I could feel them. Yeah, that's much better. That's what we're looking for. We whack them that time. I think we are good. these monsters this is a small one that's the only thing I could use oh. the other dock I was gonna try is uh, just so dirty there's a sunken boat right here can't tell which way the currents running oh I spit it out Oh, there's something in there. Hey, crap, get out of here. I don't know if it's big enough to eat these things. Yeah, it's bending my rod just this. Biting it, biting it. Chomping on it, chomping on it. Oh, it's swimming away. Oh, get out of there. Oh, it got me in the boat. Got me in the boat. Get him out of the boat. Get him out of the boat. <laughs> That's a big old. Oh, 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 oh. That's a big old mangrove. You know right where to go. Oh no, anchor line. Look at that dude. That's beast mode. Oh, oh, anchor line. Oh. 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 Ah. 
Oh. <laughs> there he is. That's the dude that broke me off in the beginning. <laughs> nice. Look at that compared to my foot. My hand. We got some volume there. Boom! <laughs> Look at that chunker. Massive boy. Dang! <laughs> ah. Weighted circle hook. Perfectly in the mouth there. All right. Gonna let this guy go. A little bit of shock because he got his butt kicked. There he goes. Awesome sauce. Knew there would be some chunkers in here. Using one of my All About the Bait uh, weighted circle hooks. These are my own design. Uh, this is a 1 8 ounce 4 aught must add circle hook the lead uh, weight on there uh, because I'm using these chunk baits and plus some of these pilchards are pretty big I wanted something weighted that will get it down a little bit faster so they don't get all tangled up in the docks and stuff but bam yeah well this is the area that I wanted to check especially at uh, low tide like it is now has such good flow so you got this beautiful uh, clear water here and all this broken bottom got all these little sand cuts in between here so I want to play out here but I don't want to wait too long because I want to get back into the bay look for uh, the big tarp and schools and then use this uh, these uh, big pilchards cut up as a uh, chunking. So basically like chumming, but get in front of them, throw a handful out, and then one with a hook on it. See if I can get them to feed that way. But look how beautiful this flats area is here. Don't have very good uh, sight visions because the sun is so low, but I wanted to see how low it gets over here. Yeah, look at this bottom. Beautiful, healthy bottom. Snorkeling here would be excellent. But uh, yeah, this is this is permit city over here. All right. Let's uh, run back to the bay. I want to see if I could find schools of tarpon on the inside there see what we can do another day come out here when the sun's up so get better visibility so I'm just gonna kind of work try to keep the Sun to my back so it re I'll see reflections of those uh, tarpon rolling you'll actually see the flash of uh, silver as they come out of the water that or any bait busting so we'll see all right we're coming down to about the last hour of sunlight um, I backed into a kind of an edge, a shallow ledge there, and then moved out until it's about a foot, foot and a half deep. So it's uh, deep enough for that the permit can come in and do some tailing. Um, plus I've got the sun over my shoulder so I can scan the whole bay here. So I'm looking for tails in close and then that still looking for that flash of the, uh, the tarpon rolling. And I can go after them but I have a really good view all the way across here so we're gonna spend the last half hour 45 minutes and see if anything shows up I'm kind of on a bad tide but uh, you got to do what you got to do all right we got our picture postcard uh, sunset here in the Florida Keys 
but no action in the magic hour here. Um, we're just on the wrong tide cycle. Like I said, we're, we're backwards where I saw all those other fish. Uh, right now it's still dropping, going towards low tide. So that usually has sent the fish out into deeper water and they won't start moving back until that tide starts rising up and they can get up into these higher spots. But uh, no worries, had a good day. Found more bait, that's a big surprise. Those pilchards everywhere. I uh, found a couple more mangrove spots, so I know there's some good mangroves around. And uh, yeah, can't beat that. Mang uh, Marathon keeps surprising me. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.